Hey everybody, I want to get put, you, put out a really quick uh, story on what's going on with Ripple, give you my thoughts, my expectations. Remember, the Economic Ninja is not a financial pro professional. You should not take advice from a dude in his 40s with a brohawk. Mind you, a pretty awesome brohawk, but don't take advice. So, you guys know that I own XRP. I'm holding it through all of this, watching lots of things go crazy in price but I am holding it for a specific reason. And uh, I wanna bring you this uh, story because we've talked about the Howey test and how um, uh, I do not believe personally that Ripple is going to uh, uh, be found as a security because it does not pass the Howey test. And if you wanna take a look at that, I have another video down the road or in the past from that. But today, Ripple's Chris Larson files motion to dismiss SEC case over the XRP sales. So just a little background with my very little bit of legal knowledge. Um, a motion to dismiss needs to be granted uh, or approved by the judge. And essentially what it is, is it's, it's stating, and there's a, there's a statements in there that state, you know, why we believe you should dismiss because you don't have a case in, in layman's terms. And right now, it puts the burden of proof with the bullet statements that um, that Ripple has stated that um, it puts the burden of proof uh, in the hands of, or the burden of proof is in the lap of the SEC. So they now have to prove these statements. Now, one thing I want to bring up is that um, not only uh, do I not believe it passes the Howey test, because if Ripple is to walk away from the XRP project, the XRP blockchain would continue to work, run nothing would change, right? You essentially, imagine now Ripple is the um, the advertising arm of XRP, all right? They're the ones that were out there uh, pumping it up, getting these contracts going, okay? So XRP is still running. As a matter of fact, uh, Ripple doesn't gain any extra, um, uh, they don't get paid for all these contractors setting up other than they own XRP and the value would be increased because of increased usage, right? So now what's really interesting, now think about this, now, and this is the other thing that's it's like kabuki theater people don't really pay attention to this um the sec is pretty much lost on almost every single front um if you looked back at everyone they've sued in the cryptocurrency space uh they haven't stopped anybody they haven't you know the, the most strictest and i know we were probably thinking of veritasium um with reggie middleton and just so you know i'm not saying that it's still running but i'm telling you the only thing that they did was they seized some tokens right they got a fine. Nobody went to jail. And Veritasium still works, right? It, it runs out there. And yes, the platform hasn't been fully beat, built, but VE Gold and VE Silver is running. And I just, I mean, that's the most extreme case. Um, Kin, Kick Interactive, still running. Everything is still there. It seems like it's almost just mainly a cash grab and it's like a fear tactic they want to strike fear into all these other programmers minds um to to go fully uh centralized fully regulated all that kind of stuff so again the government can just get money that's all this is is a money grab um but here right here it's, i mean think of this now the judge is going to look at this and this is huge I don't remember what year it was. I want to say it was 2014. And it was like right after Brad Garlinghouse uh, took on his position, I believe, what, COO of Ripple. They got embroiled in this legal battle with um, uh, FinCEN, which is a arm of the U.S. Treasury. All right. And at the end of their little legal battle, it was deemed that XRP is not a security. U.S. Treasury Bureau FinCEN classify XRP as a currency according to the agreement signed between Ripple and the U.S. Financial Crimes Enforcement Network FinCEN. I want people to understand this, that all the attorneys have to do in front of the judge during this court case, the SEC, is go, would you like to look at the video where uh, Brad Garlinghouse is begging multiple, multiple times for the SEC to make a decision? These people are sitting on their butts doing nothing. It's it's all baked the gate, guys. This is all kabuki theater. It's going, in my opinion, going to work out just fine. Um, I believe that this was an absolute coordinated hit piece by people that are not uh, the uh, the people at Ripple running the um, running that company. Um, one of the signs is when you see a official notice go out on Christmas morning? Who puts an official notice out on Christmas morning um, saying, oh, we're gonna go ahead and pull uh, XRP you know, from, from trading, 
right? I mean, look at look at how the government works. This is identical to what happened to uh, the regulators uh, telling Robinhood suspend all purchases. Tell the people they're not allowed to purchase, they're only allowed to sell. And we know they did that on purpose to cause a collapse in the price of uh, GameStop. So I'm not stressed out. I hope you guys aren't stressed out. I don't think that you should go run out and buy this because um, the, the smarter thing is if you don't own, you know, you might want to wait until the decision is official. Because honestly, we're in a bull market and things are there's stuff moving up everywhere around it. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, don't think that it's trading advice. But but I mean, I'm holding on to it. I'm a part of the flare airdrop. I'm working those those things behind the scenes, and I'm trying to to get our company positioned properly for all of that. And I'm not stressed out. I sleep well at night with this. So I hope you guys are having a great day. If you haven't subscribed, please uh, consider it. And uh, if you don't want, if you don't mind, a free way to support uh, this channel is just to hit the like button if you like the video. Have a great day, guys. We'll talk to you later. The Ninja is out.